Another thing that ultrasound is useful for is to accurately identify the thoracic intervertebral levels for epidural insertion. There are three ways to do this. First, if you are already familiar with lumbar spine scanning, you can identify the L5-S1 interspace using the parasagittal oblique view and count upwards from there. Second, you can identify the lowermost rib, assume it is the 12th rib, and count upwards from there. Third, and my preferred method for the upper thoracic spine, you can identify the first rib and count downwards from it. To identify the first rib, place the ultrasound probe in the supraclavicular fossa as though doing a supraclavicular brachial plexus block. The first rib is easily identifiable as an elongated hyperechoic structure with a subclavian artery and the brachial plexus lying on it. Slide the probe around the root of the neck and posteriorly staying medial to the scapula. This will bring the posterior part of each subsequent rib into view. The first rounded shadow that appears after the first rib is the second rib. It is not the posterior part of the first rib as you can appreciate from the graphic. From here on, it is just a question of counting from the second to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth rib, and so on and so forth. When you have found the rib that corresponds to the interspace that you are interested in targeting, slide the probe medially to visualize the transverse process and then the lamina. It's important to note, however, that because of the cranial angle that the transverse process makes with the lamina, the lamina that is in line with the rib and tip of the transverse process is actually the upper one, the T4 lamina in this case, and the T5 lamina will be lower or more caudal. So in this case, following the fifth rib will lead you to the T4, T5 space. The T5, T6 space is the next lower one and not necessarily in view on the ultrasound image. This video illustrates this. The first rib is easily recognizable as before as a long shadow with artery and plexus resting on top. The second rib is the next shadow and each rib can be counted in turn. Sliding medially from the third rib in this case, we see the T3 transverse process transition to the T2 lamina and the T2 to T3 interlaminar space is visible.